Okay, well, it seems as though Dagger maybe lost her voice. All that PTSD or whatever it is that's affecting her is gone and rendered her mute. We need to go find her. Well, obviously, she's not going to be in here. I have to backtrack out a little ways. Nope, not far enough. Now, out of all of the... Oh, I think I, maybe I mentioned this in the last episode. It was a few days ago. For me, anyway. Of all of the different civilizations that existed, Bermica, Clara, Alexandria, Lindblom, all of those, Lindblom only seems to be the only one that's actually managed to survive. It's, um... Maybe she's in here. It suffered a lot of damage during the war, but wasn't completely destroyed. Whereas the others were, and then Alexander was destroyed after the war.
I guess that little comical exchange was really only there to tell us where to find Sin. There's another weird little thing about this game. Ordinarily, like, the common story structure that you're going to, to see with this kind of thing is that the group of people that you met up with, I mean, you saw this in Final Fantasy VII, the group of people that you started out with, and that would be Tantalus, the, the traveling band of thieves, something was going to end up happening to them that Zidane would end up getting separated from them in some way. I did separate from them, but he, but, I mean, you'd kind of figure that maybe they, they would die or something like that. No, this isn't the, this isn't the air taxi, this is the airship port. Like in 7, you saw Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse die in the early parts of the game. What did I select? <laughs> I think I went to the wrong place. They're still alive. They're still around providing comic relief, although they're not really important parts of the story anymore. They served their purpose. And instead of killing them off, they've gone and just sort of relegated them to making the occasional appearance, but not being any sort of integral part of the game. It honestly feels kind of weird. I mean, I, it kind of, I think it could have worked had they gone and back after we separated from them, us really not know what the hell happened to them. In fact, that's probably how I would have done it. Wouldn't have killed them. Oh, some of them survived. Where was I? A bunch of them all just hanging out in the middle of the road. <laughs> Not a care in the world there.
All right, how I probably would have dealt with these guys was not to kill them, but to sort of just have them disappear after the after we left the forest. We separate from them, blankets turned into stone, and we don't really see them again until near the end of the game where you have a chance to go and uh, bring back Blank and then he like helps you out in some way toward the end. Uh, not to say that that's the best way of doing it, just the way I would have done it. In fact, I, I don't really see anything too wrong with what they're doing here, keeping the characters around mostly as a comic relief. Although I do feel it was a little bit premature them uh, saving Blank from the location of the forest. Felt like that happened a little bit too soon in the story. Less than halfway through, he's... Like, within the first eighth of the game, he gets petrified. And then, before the game is even half over, he's cured. And the curing happens. If you're not there to see it happen, you don't do anything like that. It, that, that does feel wrong to me. What we are seeing here also, um, before I bring this episode to a close, is the... is uh, Freya is dealing with her with, uh, the other refugees from Jamaica. A lot of people died. A lot of people died during Alexandria's assault. And the refugees, some of them managed to make it here. And she probably wants to go and join them. It would probably be the best friend to go join them. But she recognizes that the most important thing is to do what we're doing here. Take out Kuja, the guy responsible for this kind of thing. And that's, uh, that's more important, she thinks. Even though she probably wants to go and join her people. Well, anyway, I'm gonna end the episode before I go through the store, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I am an idiot. I forgot that uh, the other two potions were here. <laughs> <laughs> they only really gave us the location of the first one, but the other two are out here. There it is. If you happen to find it in my studio, you can have it. Well, it is in your studio. Thanks for knowing what you have. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Alright, I think uh, the business district is where the last one is. While the industrial district is gone for good, the business district is, um, wasn't completely destroyed and is rebuilding. Now, where the hell is this uh, last one? Somewhere around here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to the, like the synthesis guy. Alright, that should get all the stuff we need. I'm gonna head back now.